Hi, I'm James Carl Morrison. I bitch about it, so you fuckers can listen. Oh my goodness, what a special delivery we have here today. Oh, what a glorious day. So, um, in the midst of the... Um, the coronavirus and the um, you know the drama and very intense sort of George Floyd protests that have literally hit us around the world globally. Um, I thought I'd uh, well, I thought it was time to have a bit of a chill really. So um, for you that don't know, I was was for furloughed in my old job. Um, my last date employment is the thirtieth of June, but I have secured another um, means of uh, employment. So as a means of celebration much to the severe disappointment of my spouse, I thought I'd give myself a, a little treat. Um, so I've been dying for one of these um, ever since they came out in 2018. Um, this is one of the um, PlayStation VR headsets. It's the starter kit, which comes with five games. Uh, and I got a special deal uh, on uh, on the game.com um, website. So it's a, uh, a branch of video store that's um, exclusive to the UK, I believe. Um, and I'd managed to secure this for next day delivery, as you can see there. Well, look, no, I did actually order this on the um, Saturday evening, but, you know, let's give them a fucking break, shall we? Uh, <laughs> so, um, anywho, um, yeah, so um, quite, um, I've got quite the myth spouse, to be perfectly honest with you. This wasn't uh, cheap um, in any case, um, so, you know. Not obviously Scrooge McDuck. Duck. I'm not Mr. Moneybags. Um, I'm usually quite thrifty with my cash, so this was quite a shock, really, when I sort of uh, told her what I'd done. Um, you know, literally one of those like weird expressions where you're sort of smiling because you're in a state of disbelief, and it's like uh, your mind sort of races back to all those past birthdays and you know Christmases where you basically got like a, a cocktail umbrella because I couldn't afford a, a real present, so. Uh, I never got her a cocktail umbrella. I did get her a can opener for Christmas once um, because, you know, we, we needed a can opener. So, you know, this is the thought that counts. Anywho, um, so I'm going to open this bad boy. This is a sweet one revealing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I desperately wanted one of these ever since they, they came out. It is obviously a, a very gimmicky sort of thing. Um, but, Christ, I mean, ever since... Ever since I got into gaming, when I, my first um, computer I was introduced to was the Atari ST. Um, ever since we literally, I literally started this most expensive hobby of mine. Ah, oh, this is this was rich. Isn't it? Sorry, how does Ashen do this? Jesus Christ! Um, yeah, ever since these, I got introduced to the world of gaming in Atari ST. You've had certain games that have always tried to mimic the first person perspective and try to give you that sort of state of immersion so with dungeon uh, master and whatnot and uh, all those sort of uh, dungeon crawl games all the way up to doom we've wanted that sort of immersion we've always wanted to feel that we're there i mean i always oh, oh it's so beautiful oh my goodness yeah so um yeah, I think I've just splooshed. I do apologise. That's that's awful, disgusting. Uh, but no, I'm excited. I'm generally very excited. So ever since um, ever since the start of my video game sort of uh, journey, I've always thrived for those virtual reality. Even when I'm in a kiddies TV shows, you always had that as a gimmick. You always like an episode of Batman or Power Rangers where they were messing about with a virtual headset. It was literally. It's always been put across as the the ultimate gaming experience, the next stage in gaming. Uh, let's get this out of the box. Hang on. Wife, I'm glad you're here. Oh, you've got hot food. Uh, I was hoping you would hold the camera, but oh, oh yeah, she's going she's gonna to help us out here, hold the camera for us um, while I whip this out. Uh, oh. oh, lovely. So, um, this gaming package, hello. Uh, so this gaming package was um, £229. The box is a bit knackered there. Uh, this is first hand. I'm sorry, that is a bit annoying, but never mind. Um, so this was £239. It included a copy of Rick and Morty Virtual Ricality, and it also um, included two months free of Now TV, if that is your bag, if you're in any way interested in that. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as... Um, as far as value for money, I honestly couldn't comment on that until I play it. 
uh, when these first came out, um, they were 300 quid uh, with literally nothing included. And this doesn't actually even include the, uh, uh, the little uh, dildo controllers for the PlayStation Move, um, which isn't, don't necessarily need that. You can just use a, a controller, but it would be nice to have those. Um, when they first came out, um, so when uh, VR sort of helmets were introduced, it was for the Oculus Rift, and they were about a grand, and they weren't exactly perfect. A lot of people complained about motion sickness and uh, were feeling really um, like uh, really felt that they could only sort of play like twenty minutes at a time, um, at, at minimum, and sort of induced headaches. So whether this is the case with um, with the PlayStation VR, I'm not sure. I've heard some positive things. I've heard that it's very comfortable to to wear. We shall find out. Uh, I have no idea how to edit these um, sort of things together. Uh, let's open the box and have a look and see. Unboxing. God, these things are so cool. I always love a good um, unboxing on the interweb. So it's very, I mean, it's, it's a very silly thing to say, but it does remind me of the, the PlayStation Classic. Uh, the, that sort of... Um, a boxing, you just come across as very presentable and nice. There you go, you got your uh, got your screen cleaner. Oh, how nice of them! Christ, screen cleaner, <laughs> it's literally just a Ouija. Um, oh, yeah, it's got the, the PlayStation pattern on, so that's cool. You've got your instructions, obviously. Um, ah, you've got your codes there. Let's make sure that that is covered. But you've got your codes and download little options for the game there, and um. There you go, you've got a head, headphone jack, you've got your camera, AC adapter. It's amazing that a lot of these electronic goods don't come with an AC um, plug these days. It's such, so thrifty. They really are taking the piss, aren't they? Um, there you go, you've got your mini uh, USB, I believe, there. Um, oh, a nice little stand for the TV. Christ, of all the, you, I didn't even give that a thought, to be honest with you, whether it came with a, a TV... Um, uh, stand for the TV. It kind of, kind of odd, isn't it? But you need that, so that's good. Um, come with that. Um, you've got your special, unique box to help it work. Power supply. And oh, now there it is. There it is. Look at him. Look at him. All shrink wrapped and tidied and put in a neat little bow. There we go. Oh God, I have waited so long, my friend. I'm hoping we can um, edit these um, these together and we can actually get me uh, get a video of me actually wearing this bad boy and uh, trying it out. Um, I'm hoping to do that for the next video, but until then, guys, um, well, hopefully we can magically edit this together. If not, I will post a part two video. All right, see you. Okay, so hopefully I've edited the, these two um, videos together or I've just put this as part two. So this is the official sticking on the head. Um, so before I do that, I just want to say that the actual initial setup is a little bit of a faff. Um, not overly difficult, but I mean, as you can see, the actual very well illustrated sort of instruction book is, I mean, there's quite a few ins and outs. Um, like I say, not overly complicated, but it will take about at least 15 to 20 minutes. And to be perfectly honest with you, um, I wouldn't want to like, uninstall it and take everything off, which unfortunately for me, because I've got a, a little babber, um, that's probably going to be the case. I'm probably going to have to put all this back in the box just so it doesn't mess about with the £230 bit of kit. So um, maybe have a, a, a sort of set-up um, set station or a charging station for your bits or a little mannequin head for the, for the thing, just to pre-prepare because um, you really don't want to sort of like... Um, uninstall all the, all of the um all of the cables and whatnot the cables are labeled so in my advice would be to leave the cables as they are and just follow the instructions again but yeah just be prepared to, to sort of spend a little bit of time on that um just check to see oh fuck oh no 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 it's on it's on <laughs> you see um a little bit of a faff so let's um let's pop this bad boy on i haven't actually looked at the instruction book because uh, i'm a man and i'm a fucking idiot and i just don't do those sort of things um but i can tell that the uh um to adjust it you just push that in and pull this out there you go like so now you're supposed to turn the telly on 
like, well, now I'm blind. <laughs> He's supposed to turn the telly on. Um, and um, then the PlayStation and then the thingy. Obviously, this is not on the right HDMI setting. Why, why is this on the right HDMI setting? Come on, you married me. You should know you control every aspect of my life because I can't think for myself. Come on now. So like I say, this package does include the PlayStation camera. Um, some of you may or may not have that already. Here we go, okay. So this is it, the big one daily. There's got to be a power button here somewhere. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, now I've got to do the thing again. Oh. Okay, I can see the, I can see a circle. It's on, it's on, baby. Okay, so the first impression is I, as soon as I move my head from the TV, there's nothing but black. So you literally can't see a thing but the television screen at the moment. Um, it as soon as you move your head, the a controller icon appears. Um, so. I'm going to be like Rick Martel and Jake Mollett and Roberts in the blindfold match. I'm going to find the controller. Hang on. Right. Let me just sit down on a little poof here. Um, the frustrating thing with the PS4, which everybody can contest to, and I'm sure it's the same with the Xbox One, is uh, you can't just put your games in the because console anymore and just play them like the good old days, like you always could do. Um, you do have to sort of um, wait ample time to sort of download. Obviously, with all the included games, um, you do have to um, download them anyway. So it will take about 10, 15 minutes, depending on the internet speed. So oh, thank God they included the uh, they included the um, oh oh wow. Uh, let's start setting up your PSVR. Here we go. Oh shit. Oh god. That that's a the uh, writing there is very, very bright. Before use, rid of the health warning bollocks to you. Don't care. Just don't blind me. Adjust the position and angle of the camera so that you are in the centre of... <sighs> well, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Uh, okay, so... <sighs> so I can't just have me the beanie chair then. Again, I am totally blind here, so this is going to be a faff and a half. <sighs> Gonna have to do that. Our headphones plugged in, yes. 3D audio. Pull out the scope. Ah, oh, there you go. So you can pull out the um, the scope if you're wearing glasses. It's ideal because the wife does wear glasses. <laughs> yep. Press and hold the thingy, jig. Extend. Yep. Got it. Just a scope, yep, yeah, got it. Lower the headset, yep, yeah, got it. Come on! <laughs> Tyler tightened the headband, yep, yeah, got it. Adjust the position. Right, I will say one thing. These head these goggles are fogging up a little bit now, so um maybe I shouldn't have skipped all of that and maybe fogged it up. Uh, tighten it a little bit, there you go. PlayStation VR room, don't want that. Right. Let's have a look. So let's go on the VR worlds uh, first, you know, just have a little play with these. Um, so as you can see, there's already a floor here. You do need a, a, a chair uh, rather than a bean bag, which is a bit of a ball lake, but never mind. It, it is what it is. Uh, I've got a bit of a uh, hay fever, or so he thinks. Yeah, so it's not the corona. Uh, Cannot, VR headset cannot be found. Please assure that is connected in full view of the PlayStation. Oh, come on, boy. Come on. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but it's here. It's here. Come on, it's right here. What are you doing? Oh, VR headset cannot be... Fuck. Oh, duck. Oh. Yeah, I'll just stop pausing. Pause the thingy for a bit. It's just... The, um... PlayStation camera was uh, upside down <laughs> because uh, 
Yama obviously a moron, but um, I will say there wasn't a um, there wasn't any indication what the right way up was. Um, I suppose the clue should have been when they. Oh, oh, <laughs> hello. Okay, this is uh, this is a bit cool. Ah, oh, wow! I can see the uh, controller in front of me. That's pretty neat. The art headset was removed. Are you a new player? Team is more so of course. Oh, there's a there's like a doorway in front of me. Oh, that's oh wow. That's pretty neat. There's literally uh, I've got full full ceramic 3D. So that's uh, that is pretty neat. <laughs> See the controller, that's, that's cute. That's a neat little toy. That is literally everything that we've, we've uh, bitching and been bitching about since the 90s. Oh, 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 light show, light show. Oh shit, it's a crazy shit throwing in front of me. Oh no, I'm in charge of, I'm in charge of Guy Force tonight. There's been an accident, I'm gonna be some fire. That's what, that's what. Initial feeling. So what? What am I doing here? So I'm not sure what to do. Really? Is a, a tutorial? Oh, okay. So the light is still going on. The actual introduction. All right, you pompous goons, get on with it. That's it. Begin. Begin. Oh, I've got a trophy. I've got a silver trophy. What a piss enough to get a silver trophy for! Oh, Alright. Oh, when you pay it, when you spend 200 and. Uh, when you spend 200 and so quid, or 30 quid. Oh! Oh, I can hit the ball with the controller! Piss off! <laughs> I can hit the ball with the controller! Go away! <laughs> Look at that! Uh, go away! Okay, the ball that she just went straight in my face there. I suppose I deserve that. Um, well, here we are, VR Learn. So I want to do this one. Um, I know exactly what this is. Um, learn more. Feel the exhilaration of an illegal street race as you speed downhill where weaving through traffic. Post your best times to online leaderboards controlled with a VR headset. All right, I'm sold. Um, Select game mode, time trial. Let's go for the bunch tour, shall we? I'm a, I'm a new boy. Oh, 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 look at that. And a bouncy ball. Bouncy ball. Recenter. Hold options to recenter yourself in the game world. Okay. Interesting. Tilt your head. Okay. So I steer by tilting my head. This should be interesting. Uh, I should also mention at this point, but I am actually afraid of heights, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm by no means an adrenaline junkie whatsoever, so this should be interesting. Devil's Dash, prepare for launch. Alright. Okay, so there's four runs here, so that's interesting. Ah! Oh shit! Ah! 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 Wow. Wow, I'm actually skating down a hill. I'm actually going to assume the position here. There we go. Ow. Well, I can see my neck hole. That's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow. That is neat. Oh, it's gone dark. It's gone dark. Oh, okay. So, I'm guessing it's gone dark because the camera can't get me. So, I can't, I can't lie down and uh, fully immerse here. Oh. Ow, ow, the cone in the face. Oh, oh, through the car. Okay. So I literally went straight through a car. There. So. Oh, wow, that, that is intense. It's very intense. Oh, yep, he would have been dead. Wow. Like, who does this anyway? Who would who would do a, a lunge? Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, broken, broken femur. That's it. 
you're not walking easy now, son. It's a good job it's not time trial because uh, I think I'd be done by now. But uh, I will say I do feel slightly sick here, which isn't a good sign already. But the I mean, I've basically got ultra HD right in my face, right in uh, next to my eyeballs. I'm sweating bullets. I really am sweating bullets here. Dead, dead all over. Okay, I've got to remember to tilt my head to steer. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I feel sick. Oh, what a rush. You got a bowl. Danger pass. Preparing for launch. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, oh, they don't even give you a break. Jesus. That's it, I'm off. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah, dead. Oh, dead. Oh. Oh man, I'm sweating bullets. I am seriously sweating bullets here. Um, it's just dripping sweat off my head. Uh, I do feel very nauseous at this point, I have to be honest. Um, wow, this is quite a rush, I have to be honest. Massive rush. Whoa! Oh! Oh, a big jump. Oh! Oh! Oh god. Oh, I wish I didn't have the plaster bait. As that's working on me now. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm just bouncing all over the place. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh god. Oh god, I've just been smacked by cars. Literally, I've been dead five times over by now. I think I'm just yeah, a walking corpse. Oh. Let's see if I can get out of this after this one. Oh. I must have failed the the time there. Oh. Quick to main menu. Yes, please. Oh. Cool. So, um, after that, um, bit of a session. So, oh, sorry, my head is absolutely spinning. Um, I played um the PlayStation VR for about um two hours and a bit and uh, watched uh, a, a few youtube videos as well um i've got to be honest with you i feel really awful for saying this and i'm probably going to get laughed at by the missus for saying this but i'm it's taken the color off of me it really has um it's an interesting experience i wouldn't say it's totally um totally awful uh, and i don't think the the price is um astronomically high but it's it, it, you certainly need to be cautious i would say uh, i haven't played all of the, the games um available yet i haven't played um skyrim um because i don't have 60 to 100 hours of my life to sort of throw away at the moment <laughs> um and i haven't played resident evil 7 uh probably because i just don't want to shit myself um Best game at the moment, I have to say, is Astro Bot. Um, fantastic um, little uh, platform. I've only played a little bit, but I played two levels, and um, I was very impressed with that. And uh, um, 
everybody's golf of um, VR uh, was uh, was pretty awesome as well. Um, I have to be honest with you, though, the, the uh, VR worlds, as much as I love the um, um, the submer submersive like aquatic section and the uh, the heist was really good. Um, the lunge and the uh, the lunge and especially the scavenger uh spacey level which i thought would be my favorite um absolutely felt 100 percent nauseous uh i didn't mention that I'm, I'm not a fan of heights but you know i'm not a complete pussy i mean i've done uh i've done high ropes i've done zip wires and uh um roller coasters i mean yeah there's a youtube video of me doing the um uh um doing the the, the massive zip wire in uh what was it? Uh, the two domes in Kumaran. Oh God, sorry. Head is absolutely spinning. Uh, my point is, I'm not. A I don't like heights, but I can handle them. I have, I have um, um, Eden Project. Shit, Eden Pro the, the the massive uh, zip wire on Eden Project. I've done that, and the, the the videos on YouTube. I would highly recommend that. It was fantastic. Um, so as much as I'm scared of heights, I can. I have dealt with them and I can enjoy I can enjoy them as well um I've never felt more nauseous more ill than playing those two games the lunge was was quite fun at first but it just the more I did it the more ill I felt I just felt really really sick um uh, and the uh, the scavenger uh, levels I think are completely unplayable absolutely unplayable it's such a shame because the um the actual control scheme of it um w was quite kind of gripping I, I did love the um the aesthetics of it but the um i could literally handle five at uh, ten minutes max and i just i felt like i was gonna throw up i generally felt i was gonna throw up i've never felt that way about any game um you know in a first person view or like with one of these sort of, sort of gimmicky moving controllers i've never felt that at all but i generally felt like i was gonna bomb everywhere i, I bet you pounds a penny people have looking at the trophy list for vr worlds it's literally 0.1 percent at the moment i imagine that's because very few people have purchased it and I, very few people can probably finish scavengers to honest with you I, I know i'm probably never gonna play that again uh, which is a real shame because it would have been nice to have um, been one of those 0.1 percenters. But I just the game physically makes you ill like that. Um, yeah, best not to sort of attempt it again. Um, and yeah, the PR VR Worlds is essentially the demo, which you had to pay for um, separately, which is absolutely fucking disgusting. But that was essentially the tech demo. Um, and if a tech demo is making you feel nauseous and sick, that's probably a bad sign of your product. Um, anyway, I'm going to um, leave it at that. I am going to obviously try um, Resident Evil 7, if, if only for the shits and giggles. And I'm sure you guys would love watching how much of a giant pussy I am uh, reacting to some of that. Um, Baker Mansion fun. And... Um, yeah, I mean, Skyrim, let's give Skyrim a go. Everyone's been ranting and raving about Skyrim. Um, so why not do give it the old VR experience and see what um, see what that's all about. Um, the uh, the Rick game, uh, Rick and Morty game, you do need the uh, the two dildos, the two um, PlayStation Move controllers. I've only got one Move controller, which, yeah, um, that's my fucking luck, isn't it? Sod's Law, I only have the one. Um, it's just very strange. You would have thought I would have had two. Um, I thought the old um, PS3 move set did come with two, but I only got one. So um, it's frustrating that they've included that in the package, and you you do need the additional controllers. Um, but C to V, it was a free game, and yeah. Um, my overall conclusion is um. I want to say sort of wait till the the price reduces. Um, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. If I'm honest, um, I mean, eventually I'm hoping it will uh, die down. But to be honest with you, it's more than likely it'll just it, it's more than likely to just disappear before the the price drops. I think at this point, two hundred and thirty quid. Um, 
I say it's not extortionate, but it is it is steep for something that is essentially a gimmick, and I think that is what it is. It is a a gimmick at the moment. Um, I'm hoping that there is going to be um a game that sort of proves me wrong. Um, VR and YouTube is um essentially it's not compatible. I mean, uh, they do have a, a special VR section in uh for YouTube uh, videos, but if it's not specifically made for VR. And basically, all you see is the um a large square where your television is, and um yeah, that's essentially it really. Um, fucking dangerous as well. Uh, this uh this helmet. I mean, uh, once you've got it on, you cannot see shit other than the the the, the screen or over the uh or the actual video game. I mean, Astro Boy was as much as I enjoyed that. It was quite dangerous in places because you literally. You li you literally have a three hundred and sixty dimensional view, um, and to sort of use a lot of the platforms, you have to move, um, in and out, um, like move your neck, move your body, um, spin around, uh, yeah, particularly with uh, the uh, the the wire, yeah, that uh, from coming from the actual headset that they move all the way to the TV, that's that pose is quite dangerous, um. Oh well, uh, like I say, not the overly positive experience I was hoping for. I mean, I've been literally gushing for this uh, bit of hardware, but never mind. I, I've I've thrown down my snake oil. I, I'm going to make the most of it, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we can uh, we can dig up and uh, recommend for you guys. So uh, thank you very much. For, um, <laughs> excuse me. Don't know why I did that. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm probably going to vom uh, all over the wife who's now asleep um, because that's the kind of relationship I, we're in. So, you know, yeah, go get your licks in when you can or pukes in when you can in this instance. See you around, guys. Uh, like, tick. Like, tick. Uh, like and um, push that notification button. That's the one. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos for you. All right. Morrisoni out.